Now, a 33-year-old man from Maharashtra who travelled to Mumbai from South Africa via Dubai and Delhi late last month has tested positive for the Omicron variant of the coronavirus in the fourth such case confirmed in India. Let's go across Saurav Gupta who's reporting on this from uh, Maharashtra. Saurav, Maharashtra really have been taking some of the strictest, um, you know, um, responses to international flights and flights coming in to the state. What is being done about the passengers he would have been in contact with? Uh, have they been traced and followed up on? Well, you know, Maharashtra has, of course, introduced a very strict uh, contact tracing protocol and, you know, a following up protocol with people who arrive from any of these countries that are now considered uh, high risk countries. And of course, Maharashtra is named three of those countries, South Africa, Botswana and Zimbabwe. But uh, this, this gentleman seems to have flown back from South Africa, but he had a transit in between. And then, of course, he was uh, at the Kalyan Dobibadi Center, tested positive. And then, of course, his samples were sent for genome sequencing. Now, of course, it seems to have been confirmed that he is indeed being infected with the Omicron or Micron variant. That is, of course, now the latest variant that has been discovered, especially in countries like South Africa, where there have been a lot of cases of this particular variant that have been reported. But authorities say that because of the strict contract tracing and, you know, the following up and uh, the protocols that have been put in place, that they're being managed to detect cases of this new variant. And while there have been cases in Bangalore and Jamnagar, there are also now cases in Kalyan Dombibli, which is in adjoining Thane district, not exactly in Mumbai, but it's adjoining Thane district. 